common ancestor, some gradually became apes, some gradually became human. That means that some of these fossils should show that progression from a common ancestor with both human and ape features slowly, gradually becoming human and ape. So, uh, can I hear you guys grunt? That was weak grunting. I need, I need some real grunt, a real grunt. Okay, good. Look, I'm gonna be pointing at some skulls up here and so uh, I can't see you guys and I gotta hear, okay? So I'm gonna show seven different skulls up here. And, and when I point at these things, here's the rules, ground rules. You have to grunt once, everybody has to grunt once, and you can only grunt once, okay? Those are the ground rules. Uh, I'm gonna point to these skulls and I need you to grunt, okay? Here we go, here's our skulls. I, I need you to grunt when I point to the one that is the most ape-like, you ready? Most ape-like, most ape-like. Most ape-like? Most ape-like? We don't need to go any further, he wins. Now you need to grunt at the most human-like. Most human-like? Most human-like? Most human-like? Most human-like? Most human-like? 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 Human-like. Ah, okay, okay, we got a little split going on there. There's only one problem. All y'all are wrong. Every one of those is Lucy, quote unquote. Every one of those is Australopithecus afarensis. You see, when all you have are seven pieces of a skull, what are you going to fill in around those seven pieces with? Your worldview. And you can come up with all kind of opinions and all kind of displays on this thing. Hey everybody, Carl Kirby here. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, check out one of these other videos. Also, make sure you subscribe to our channel and visit our website at rforh.com. Adios.